the Olympics, huh? What a controversial topic it turned out to be. Apparently, the LGBTQ people have ruined the Olympics. First, they mocked the Last Supper of Jesus, which turns out wasn't actually the Last Supper. It was the mythology god Dionysus, a Greek god. But this didn't stop Christians from freaking out and losing their fucking minds. Then they claimed that a transgender boxer beat a female boxer. But as it turns out, it wasn't a transgender boxer. So what happened? What was the confusion? This boxer had failed gender tests in past Olympics. So why did she fail? It was because her testosterone levels were higher than normal. Iman Khalif is an Algerian boxer who was assigned female at birth, according to her genitals, as is the case of every other baby. This is how most people say that biological sex should be assigned. However, when we are in school, we learn that chromosomes are the ones that determine biological sex. So which is it? It's actually both. In fact, there are five different factors before birth that determine biological sex. But if a child is assigned female at birth, they will usually grow up as a female and they will not find out that their chromosomes may not be female until much later in life. This is called intersex. The term intersex refers to people born with sex characteristics that are different from what is typically considered male or female. Intersex is also referred to as differences of sex development. Intersex is simply a biological variation. Humans have variations in eye colors, skin color, height, size, body shape, and yes, variations in biological sex. In this specific case, the Algerian boxer Khalif was born with female genitals, so she was assigned female at birth. But later in life, she was tested for her chromosomes because she had a higher level of testosterone. And it turns out that she had XY chromosomes, which are generally male chromosomes. So she had one female biological sex factor and one male biological sex factor. Now, what her other biological sex factors are, we exactly don't know. Hormones, we do know. We do know she had higher testosterone levels, but we don't know how that has shaped her brain, for example. We also don't know her genetics. She could have female genetics. She could have a female brain. Although the brain differences in males and females are very small. So we don't generally use those to determine whether somebody is a male or a female. It can definitely have an effect, especially in transgender people. Let's put it this way. Here, we have five different factors for biological sex determination. Genes, chromosomes, genitals, brain anatomy, and hormones. If Cliff had hormones and chromosomes of a male, but genitals, brain, and genetics of a female, then yes, she is a female. I saw somebody on Fox News claiming that she was a biological male, but how? Both her outer and inner biology differed. So in this case, she gets to choose whether she identifies as a female or as a male. She has lived her whole life as a female because her doctors assigned her female at birth. This is actually a very interesting topic because this goes to show that Non-binary people have an absolute right to feel the way they do. Most of these people have variations in their biological sex. And this is why I continue to push for educating people to realize that biological sex and gender are different. And that biological sex is a spectrum. It isn't a binary. I ask you this. You currently identify as a specific biological sex based on your physical anatomy, your genitals, right? If you found out your chromosomes were the opposite, would that change how you feel? Probably not. 
this is why transgender and non-binary people cannot change their mind. They feel how they feel and they should be respected. Biology books have made it clear for decades that biological sex isn't determined by a single factor. So using genitals to determine somebody's biological sex is biologically incorrect. There have been other cases of athletes in sports who were female, but they had higher levels of testosterone and therefore they were kept from participating in their sports. So even somebody who is fully considered a female can still have variations. This is exactly what happened with the Algerian boxer Khalif. And it is a shame that people have such a little understanding of biology and science that they could not comprehend what is going on and automatically assume that this was a transgender person. This goes to show that the hate against transgender people goes so deep. We need to change that. We need to understand science and biology better. This brings acceptance and understanding, compassion and empathy. Science is constantly advancing, is evolving, is enriching our understanding of the world around us. Biological sex is one of those things where scientists are constantly learning new things, which improves our comprehension of human anatomy and biology. This will lead us to a path of a more inclusive society that we should all want. Until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe.